Ooh, that rumbling in your stomach, too much turkey left over from Thanksgiving in your belly, or maybe it's concern, wondering if ASU is going to get their first game in a month here against UCLA on Saturday. Zach here for DevilsDigest.com, and if you've got a case of the Mondays or maybe a Thanksgiving hangover, I've got just the thing. I'm prescribing a healthy dose of this edition of the Herm Edwards Weekly Notebook. This has been something that uh, I don't think anyone will ever forget in, in, in the world. In, in, you know, not only just in, in Arizona, but I think in the whole world, I think everyone's been affected by this virus one way or another. And uh, it's made us all have to adjust. And life is not normal. Hopefully one day it will become normal again. Saturday, December 5th at 8.30 p.m. is scheduled to be the time that ASU will play football for the first time in four weeks. Coach Herm Edwards is optimistic that the Sun Devils will return to the field and play UCLA that night. We're confident about playing a game. We're excited about playing a game. We haven't played a game in a month. It's kind of like our first game. We didn't practice yesterday. We practiced over the weekend, and uh, we'll start back again tomorrow. Um, Lo and behold, it's an 8.30 game, so it's like we're waiting forever to play this game. But I, but I think our players are very excited. In week one of one, Jaden Daniels seemed to have a disconnect, if you will, with some of his rookie wide receivers. Johnny Wilson dropped a few passes, and LV Bunkley Shelton just didn't seem right. Even with that being said, Herm Edwards is confident that these rookie wide receivers, among others, will actually see more playing time than they did against USC because of the new NCAA eligibility rules. Probably be a few more to play this week, by the way, and that's okay. That, that's kind of where we're at. It, it's not like we have a lot of veteran receivers, right? <laughs> Frank, that's about it. All the rest of them are pretty young, and so that's okay. They'll, 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 they'll get through it. We'll be okay. UCLA sits at two wins and two losses, and one cancellation after five weeks of the season. Last week's 27-10 win over Arizona was the fourth straight game in which the Bruins rushed for over 100 yards. Star running back Dimitri Felton led the charge with 206 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown. Keep an eye out for him. I think Chip's done a nice job of really um, creating a, the type of offense and the defensive players uh, that fit his mold of what he wants to do. Uh, if you watched him play, the uh, um, Felton kid, is, he's got a chance maybe to be the MVP of the conference. He is having an outstanding season, his ability to run catch the football. Their defense is, is, is uh, very athletic. So this is going to be a, a good contest. The one-two punch of Rashad White and Chip Trainum proved lethal against USC in week one. Now the question poses, should ASU be preparing for UCLA's run defense, or should UCLA be preparing for ASU's pass? Herm Edwards says it's a little bit of both. I think if you're UCLA, um, you're going you're gonna to load the box up a little bit on us uh, and try to stop us from running. That would be my, uh, that would be my thinking if I was them. And um, with that being said, um, we're going to have to make some plays in the passing game. And um, that's where we're going to have to improve. I, I thought our run game, for the most part, was, was, was pretty consistent, to be quite honest. And uh, with, with three runners that, and, and really two, the, the two runners that had never played a Pac-12 game, I, I thought they, they played pretty well. Without a firm number or statistic of players and coaches participating at practices this week, we're not 100% sure what media availability will look like. But for up-to-the-minute updates, I can tell you to keep it locked in to DevilsDigest.com. And hey, give us a follow on Twitter, at DevilsDigest.